guys, welcome to Beauty for Heart. I'm Dede, also known as Dede. Today, I'll be sharing with you my February Oldies for Goodies makeup products update review. If you are new to my channel, this is where I will pick up my old makeup products and use it for the month. And then after that, followed by an update review because along the time, my skin condition will change or the product's performance will change. So let's just see whether these products that I've selected in February to use are still good. And if you want to know what are the products that is mentioned in February, please refer to that video first. Thank you so much. And because we have a number of products, so let's get started. I'll start with the face product first, starting off with this Can Make Primer. Still my favourite primer. I still love this primer and I prefer to use this alone. It's good enough for me as a foundation. This is very glowy and natural. It will mix well with mattifying foundation and powder. At the same time, if you are going to mix this with the mattifying powder and foundation, then it will lose its glow. That's why I prefer to use it alone. Then top up with the blusher, the highlighter, and the bronzer and contour. Next primer I've selected for the February will be this. This is from Palladio. It's a rice primer. As you can see, this is tinted. It feels silicony. It helps to fill up the pore and provide a soft focus so that it makes our face look more smoother and more flawless. This is the mattifying type. Next will be these two foundations that I've selected for the month of February and starting off with this Catrice Liquid Camouflage HD Liquid Coverage. This is their most popular foundation. It comes with the dropper applicator. It offers mid to high coverage. This is the mattifying type. It's lightweight, it's non-oily. Yet, it looks natural and smooth on my skin. It's not cakey and doesn't emphasize on my texture because I have a lot of texture on the skin, club pores, media seeds, and usually when I use full coverage or medium to high coverage foundation, they will emphasize a lot on my skin texture, which will look so terrible. But not for this. Color is a bit too dark on me though because previously they only have four colors. This is the darkest color they had. This is 0401 beige, but after a while they come out with more colors. Take a dedicated video for that. Please refer to the link in the iCard or the description box for more details. And next is this Colourpop No Filter Foundation. This is their first foundation and this is the mattifying type. When it was launched, it creates a big hoo-ha because for an affordable brand like Colourpop, they provide quite a wide range of colors. This is also oil-free. It offers natural matte finish, medium coverage. However, when I use this, after 2 hours, my nose becomes oily. I have combination skin, dry U zone, oily T zone. So I don't think this can control my oil. There's not much scent in it. Some loves it, some hates it. But to me, this foundation is okay, average, not impressive, not disappointing. If I were to combat these two foundation, then I would much prefer this Catrice HD coverage because it gives my skin a more natural look. Next will be this from BH Cosmetics. This is their mattifying powder. I forgot to mention previously, there are actually two layers in the casing. You can flip this up. And there it is, there is a puff which is dirty already. So you can use this puff to apply the powder straight onto the face. And there's mirror over here too. I still like this powder because this is silky smooth and it's finely milled. Apply very smoothly on the face. It offers light coverage, doesn't really control the oil like what it claims to be. But it doesn't cake or produce very powdery look. It's paraben free and oil free and there's hyaluronic acid inside to moisturize and hydrate our skin. It's clinically and allergy tested vegan and cruelty free. I will recommend this due to the smoothness of the powder. Next will be this powder because I selected two powder. This is from Essence. All about matte. It's the translucent type. The texture for this pressed powder is fine but not so finely milled as the BH Cosmetic one. This is mattifying. It controls oil much better than the BH Cosmetic powder. 
And because of the color of the powder, it helps to slightly lighten a dark foundation. As I mentioned just now, the Catrice Liquid Foundation is a little too dark on my skin. And when I combine this Essence Matte Powder with that Catrice Liquid Foundation, it helps to balance out the color on my face. And I don't know why, the more I use, the more I feel that this is like a chalk powder. We'll recommend this due to its price and the oil controlling properties. Okay, next will be the concealer from LA Girl. I like that the applicator is brush tight because it can help to reach the inner corner area better. Although I did not use this brush to blend it out, it helps my application much better. I think because I kept this for quite some time, it has a little musky smell and it starts to turn sour but then I still can't let go of this and I still like this concealer texture is rich, creamy, gives opaque coverage it's lightweight, it helps to conceal my dark circles and it's crease resistant I guess I have to throw this because it has been kept for quite some time and the smell start to change but, but I will definitely repurchase it in the future Next is bronzer and also I forgot to mention that it's two layers for the packaging The upper layer is the bronzer and then when you flip this up again there is a mirror and this I don't know how to describe this applicator but I only used it yesterday just once because usually I will just use my brush to apply this bronzer Maybe I'm not used to this applicator, I just find that it's a bit weird. I just want to apply more naturally and more narrow surface, but because of the width of this applicator, it basically applies the whole face, which that is not what I want. Anyways, I'm not a bronzer person, but this is one of the first few bronzer I have and I'm very happy with it. It has a very strong coconut scent, so if you are someone who doesn't like coconut or doesn't like scent, Please stay away from Physician Formula Butter Bronzer. Talking about Physician Formula, it used to be cruelty free and I'm a cruelty free channel, but now Physician Formula is not cruelty free anymore because they are selling in China. So after this video, I wouldn't share so much about Physician Formula's products in my channel until they change their cruelty free status again. This bronzer looks yummy and smells yummy. They are using Muru Muru Butter It gives a very smooth cream to powder feel with little shimmer And along with the Butter Series comes this Also from Physician Formula, this is their Butter Blush And Vintage Rouge Also double layer First layer is the blusher itself and then the applicator Still the same strong coconut scent Creamy to the touch It has the same formula feel with the butter bronzer This color is very natural on me It's good for a natural makeup look Or with either a heavy makeup look or eye makeup look It helps to bring the color together Yet not over empowering Since now we are talking about blusher, I will still continue with blusher following by this This is from Paladio, this is their big blush Don't see that this is such a small round casing Pigmentation is very intense So not for beginners When you want to use this, just pick up little by little Otherwise the color will be too strong on our cheeks This is in the color Wish This is my second big blusher from them The first one I bought was blushing and in my previous video, I got confused Blushing is the first color I bought Gives a pink with a gold sheen Which this is the color that I like a lot That's why previously I want to buy this to do a giveaway Unfortunately, it's out of stock So I got this Wish to do a giveaway But the more I stare at this color The more I want it So I buy another one for myself This is the color that I'm referring to to do the previous giveaway and this is the shimmery type there is a slight purple undertone to it so this two color is different this is with the pink gold sheen this is without the sheen 
colour is very intense, it lasted the whole day. Next will be this, also from Paladio. This is their matte blush. Comparing this to the previous blusher, one is big, the other is small. The pigmentation for this is not as intense as this big blusher. So this will be better for beginner. Texture for this is very smooth. It is very light color. Although the name is Peach Eyes, I find that this is actually more pink than peach. It applies very smoothly on the face. But it will fade after a while. There is vitamin infused in this blusher. Good for beginner to start off with because Paladio is a very affordable brand. And again, from Physician Formula. This is their highlighter in the color Champagne. I'm not sure whether this is more fresh than the other two Butter Formulas products. This is so much more creamier and smoother. It feels bouncy as well, like the Super Shock Eyeshadow, Super Shock Cheek and Super Shock Highlighter from Colourpop. It just glides on so effortlessly onto the skin because it has the creamy to powder feel. So beautiful. Colour is also very beautiful, love the formula. But there is glitter inside it. This is something that I do not like in the highlighter. So be perfect if there is no glitter. And I find that this champagne colour is a little too dark on my cheek. Otherwise, this would be perfect. And in February, I chose two highlighters. This is the second one. Used to be very, very popular. Almost every YouTuber has this. This is from The Balm Mary Luminizer. This is the powder form. When I reuse this, I still find that this is very good. It makes my cheek look so wet and glowy. This is also one of the first few highlighters I have but after when I got more highlighter, this is drowned in the sea. <laughs> it's good to reuse products sometimes to find the love back. And this is still a goodie. There is no shimmer and glitter in this highlighter. Doesn't emphasize on my texture. And I find that this color is a little lighter on the cheeks. The previous one was a little dark, this is a little lighter. But doesn't matter, I will still wear it, especially for the inner corners of the eyes. And now to the eyes product, starting yeah! off with this Catrice Prime M5 Brightening Eyeshadow Primer. This is in a doe food applicator type. This is white, but it's already discontinued. I'm not so sure whether is it because I kept for quite some time. The texture is more diluted. Otherwise, when it's fresh, it's more white than now. It starts to have a funny smell for this primer. So I guess I have to throw this away too. <laughs> because of the whiteness, it helps to brighten up the eyeshadow colors and make the eyeshadow colors more vibrant. And in February, I've selected all these four eyeshadow products. Back then, in February, I did a video. The top 10 all eyeshadow palettes suitable for Valentine's Day. And among the 10 palettes recommended, these are four of them. Starting with this Ace Beauty, Blossom Passion. I use this palette the least because of the color story. Because up till now, I still prefer a pink natural look. But the color story for this is much more vibrant and strong. The mess works very well on me. There are four shimmers in this palette. I hope they can have more shimmers. Packaging is very lovely. I always adore flowers and pink. And now to this Berry M Treasure Chest Big Eyeshadow Palette. I've mentioned this a few times. And I also did a dedicated swatch and review video for this palette. I will also link it in the iCard and also in the description box. This is my very first Berry M Eyeshadow Palette. This is the Big Powder type. 
baked powder is always more intense, smoother than the normal powder. It has the best quality among these four palettes. And this is my most outstanding drugstore eyeshadow palette. Next eyeshadow palette will be this. This is from BH Cosmetics and this series has my most favourite formula. Comes with such a huge size mirror over here. And this series is discontinued. Mats are so smooth. Even for the price. All are soft and pigmented. Shimmers are also good. There is a matte white on the last row and I like to use this as a base. It will intensify the color payoff of the other eyeshadow color. I hope that it has more natural, neutral, crisp color like one beige sand color. Last palette, this is from Odin's Eye. This is a Swedish indie brand. And so far, I'm having very good experience with this. Love the packaging. This is my kind of vibe. Very girlish. Very garden type, floral, natural, so beautiful, so dreamy, so mystical. And this is the cardboard material, but it's not like the ColourPop cardboard material packaging. When you touch this, it has like, can you hear the sound? It's kind of like sandy and grainy, but to the good quality type, if you know what I mean. Anyway, this is the inside, comes with the mirror, the protector. This is what I like. There are various formulas and even for their shimmers, there are two kinds of shimmers feel. This color, this, and this feels almost like super sharp eyeshadow, the bouncy type. They are very very soft. And this actually came in broken but I just pressed it hard against the pan and didn't use any alcohol. As I mentioned, there are two kinds of shimmers. One type is the shimmers only type. The other one is shimmers with glitter which gives more oomph and depth to the colour. Mattes are very smooth and intense but I hope to have a lighter matte colour for the crease. And because I have such good experience with it, in the future I will definitely explore more of this brand. Moving forward will be the lips products. I have selected a few lipsticks to use in the month of February. Starting with this, this is from Colourpop. This is the Ultra Setting Lips from Karochi's collaboration. Simply love this colour because it has such a pretty pretty pink colour. This is the Ultra Setting Formula. It's not the liquid matte lipsticks. So it feels very comfortable on the lips and can last through a meal. Usually for liquid matte lipsticks, it will emphasize my lines. But for this formula, it doesn't. It helps to blur out the line instead. It gives me a very beautiful lips. Still with the Karuchi collaboration, this is the Ultra Glossy Lip Gloss. This is the brush applicator. But I seldom use this color because I'm not very into this color. And next will be this is from Catrice Ultimate Color Series. This is my most 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 favorite lipstick formula. Unfortunately, this is already discontinued and this is the color number 370 in the Rose Garden. Happens to be my most favorite color in this stretch. Intensely pigmented, very moisturizing and shining. I was supposed to finish up this lipstick. As you can see, it already hit pen, but I didn't actually use it because it has a slight musky smell. I don't feel safe applying this onto my lips. But I can use this to do a swatch. Took a long break because both of my battery died. So come to the last product which is this cream lipstick from BH Cosmetics. As I was using, I was thinking, why didn't I use them more often? These are discontinued so I wouldn't show you all the color swatches. Love the formula because it's opaque. And this is very moisturizing and lasts for the whole day. Looking at this color, I don't understand why in the first place I will get some of them. Because like this purple is definitely not my vibe. And some are the shimmery ones, which I don't usually like a shimmer of frosted lipsticks. So I don't understand why I got this. I've already threw some of them because they really turned bad. So these are the remaining colors. But taking a look at them, I understand why I didn't reach them more often because of the colors. Example, like this is the peach. 
texture is very soft so if you just can see you can see that it already has some stretches and some muds because my weather over here is very hot okay this is the peach I wouldn't like this kind of peach because there's some white base to it and it wouldn't look good on my complexion comparing this with the silky girl moisture balm this is a Southeast Asia brand Malaysia brand actually this is peach also but this peach contains some pink makes it more wearable for my kind of complexion if your skin color is somewhere around mine this go for some pink in the peach color worth the money but the color doesn't really suit me and that's all for the products used in February and I'm so happy that I'm able to reuse revisit and re-love them because I bought too many makeup products and those oldies but goldies makeup products are pushed at the back and drown into the sea of new makeup release so it's good to revisit them again so there's question of the day which of these makeup products mentioned just now have you used how do you feel about them please comment in the comment section below yeah thank you so much and last but not least here's an inner beauty tip for us to be more beautiful and more wise the struggle we are in today is giving us the strength we need for tomorrow don't give up thank you dears for watching if you like this video please consider to subscribe like and share thank you so much may you dears have a peaceful blissful and joyful week ahead see you next time bye